Hi, Miss Piggy wants to welcome you into the Skunk Juice Studio today. Today, Miss Piggy wah, is bringing you a fun book read from the Muppets called <gasps> Miss Piggy in the Spotlight. <gasps> Let's find out about Miss Wah, shall we? Backstage at the Muppet Theater, the Muppets were very busy. In just a few hours, they would be putting on one of the biggest shows ever. Fozzie was practicing his jokes. Gonzo was giving a pep talk to his chicken. And Miss Piggy was rehearsing her song, All You Need Is Wah. It was going to be a big finish for the show. Just a second, Miss Piggy, Kermit said, interrupting the song. The frog walked out to center stage. Attention, please. Gather around, everybody. I have great news, Kermit said. I have something that will make this show even more spectacular. Fabulous. You must be adding another spectacular song for moi, said Miss Piggy. Uh, no, said Kermit, but I do have a big surprise. Tonight, you will be on stage with a big star. A star, asked Rock. You mean to share the spotlight? Exactly, said Kermit. And trust me, this star will shine. Did you hear that, Fozzie asked, after Kermit left the stage? A big star. I wonder if they will go on after your act, Miss Piggy said, Roth. What do you mean, said Miss Piggy? Everybody knows that wah songs are the most important in the show and that the most important song is the last song. Well, sure, said Rolf, but that was before Kermit called in someone of note. He plucked on his piano. Don't be silly, huffed Miss Piggy. Kermit will never replace me. If you say so, said Rolf, but do not come howling to me if this new star takes your place. Big star, big star, shouted Animal. Wah! Get back to work, yelled Miss Piggy. I am the biggest star and I have a song to rehearse. Wah. Miss Piggy tried to practice singing, but she was too worried. Take five, she called for a break. Then Piggy said quickly to herself, no one can play, take my place, right? Sure they can, Gonzo pipped up. Just move over to your left a bit. I can take your place to the right right now. Miss Piggy did not think Gonzo was funny. Take that, she cried. She grabbed Gonzo by the nose and pitched him up onto the balcony. Thanks, said Gonzo, being a daredevil. Gonzo enjoyed the trip. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you turkeys, said Miss Piggy. Those are not turkeys. They are chickens, Gonzo corrected her. Miss Piggy stormed away. Boy, is she in a foul mood, Gonzo muttered. Miss Piggy marched back, marched backstage to find Scooter. He always knew what was going on. Oh, Scooter, said Miss Piggy sweetly. What can you tell me about this new star Kermit told us about? Oh, said Scooter, Scooter the new star is going to be dazzling. More dazzling than moi, Miss Piggy said. Absolutely, Scooter said, nodding his head. It cannot be, well, Miss Piggy. Kermit is my one and only. How could he do this to me? He could not ask to share the spotlight with another star. But he is, said Scooter. 
Miss Piggy frowned. Miss Piggy fumed. She got mad, very mad. So mad that she told the other puppets to, to take a step back. Where is that frog? She yelled. It is time to get to the bottom of this. Miss Piggy found Kermit opening a big box behind the curtain. Listen up, frog, cried Piggy. I am going to ask you once and only once, is that star going to upstage my big number tonight? <sighs> well, yes, Piggy, said Kermit, but... <gasps> That's it, screamed Miss Piggy. I cannot take it any more. How can you do this to me after all I have done for you and these weirdos? Wait, Piggy, yeah, said Kermit. Please, take this, yelled Miss Piggy. Hi! Well, one uh, well arm swing, well, with one well-aimed swing of her arm, Miss Piggy karate chopped Kermit. <coughs> Miss Piggy, you do not understand, cried Kermit. Look inside that box. Miss Piggy did not want to do what Kermit asked, but after huffing and puffing, she decided to take a tiny peek inside the box. She tore it away piece by piece. Finally, all that was left was a big star. Big star, shouted Animal. Kermit had brought in a huge, glittering, golden star to hang in the spotlight during Piggy's performance. Oh, Kermie, said Piggy, is this all for me? Yes, said a Daz Kermit. I wanted something to help you shine even more than usual. Oh, Kermie, said Miss Piggy. She covered Kermit with smooches. Ah, oh, I should have known you would never replace me. But next time you bring in a star, said Piggy, you had better clear it with me first. The end. Miss Piggy in the spotlight. So Kermit brought her a big star. We're all stars. Oops, a Daisy. <gasps> the end of the show. Thanks guys for joining us this week for Miss Piggy in the spotlight. Yes, remember Please read and wash your hands. Wash your hands good, good. And pick up another book to read, okay? We will see you next week. And remember, sprinkle some kindness. Okay, guys, see ya.